What's up my friends, this is Einstein aka Open Source Gangster once again with another project tutorial on designing a basic circuit and measuring voltages and showing you how to run a basic simulation. So from continuation from our previous tutorial, today as I had instructed you, we're going to just put a basic circuit where I'm just going to put a lamp, I'm typing lamp as from the previous tutorial, I'm using the active one. Then I'm going to put a, a DC source or V source as we call it. We call it V source. This is a simulated DC source from the Proteus. I'll also put the V sign so that you can see the difference. V sign. This is a simulated AC source. So now I'm going to create a basic circuit. I'm going to put my lamp here. And I'm going to first simulate DC. As you can see, my lamp is written 12 volts DC. I've connected my lamp. I'll try and run it. You can see the simulation is running here. But the lamp is partially on because I'm just applying 1 volt. Then I increase the voltage. You double click here. You edit this. I put a 2 here. I make it 12. My lamp is white, it's fully on. Now I want to measure the voltage. I stop the simulation. I get to my uh, measuring instruments. I look for the DC voltmeter. Here we go. For the voltmeter, I connect it in parallel across my rod. I'm connecting it in parallel across my rod like this. I'm going to run my simulation. As you can see, the voltage across the rod. It's 12 volts is indicated by the voltmeter. This is DC voltage. If I want to measure the current, I look for a DC ammeter. I put it in series with my, my power source and my load. I'm going to run the simulation now. As you can see, the circuit is just drawing 0 0.5 amps. So this is for simulating DC and measuring the voltage and current. You can do this circuit for any instrument, any circuit. If you just want to measure the current and the voltage, just connect. If you want to measure the voltage, you connect it in parallel with the ap application that you want to measure the voltage from. If you want to measure the current, you connect it in series with the load as well. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to simulate AC voltage. I'm going to put copy the circuit, put it on top. I'm going to make another circuit using the V sign. I'm going to put it here. The same lamp. I can use the same lamp for AC and DC. I just have to edit the voltage. I'm going to put the same connection as the one on top. So I'm going to edit the voltage to make it 230 volts. As you can see, my amplitude is already 230. But I'm going to increase the amplitude because this is the peak to peak voltage. I'm going to make it 340. The frequency is 50 hertz. Okay. I'm going to run my light. As you can see, this light is on. As you can see, the color of this light and this light is on. Now I'm going to connect my AC measuring equipment. I'm going to here and choose the AC ammeter. I'm going to put it in series with my load. I'm going to choose my AC voltmeter. I'm going to put it in parallel with my load to use the lamp. I'm going to run the simulation. As you can see, I'm getting 240 volts. Here, right here, and my lamp is on, and I'm getting 10 amps. So in AC, the slight uses 10 amps, but in DC, at 12 volts, you use 0 0.5 amp. I'm getting 240 volts when I supply 340 as I was saying before this will be the VRMS the voltage root, root mean square voltage but my supply voltage the 340 is my peak to peak voltage this is my peak to peak voltage and this is my frequency but I'm getting my lighting at 240 volts because this is the root mean square voltage 
and this is the current that is being used by the lamp so if you want to see that I can, I'm increasing the load I can put another lamp in parallel I'm going to put another lamp in parallel with my previous lamp I'm going to change my voltage to 230 volts as you can see both lights are on but you can see the current is doubled it's now 20 amps but the voltage is the same because i connected my lamps in parallel but i want to change the circuit now i want to connect the lamps in series i'm now going to connect my lamp in a series Now let me edit to 30 volts. Now I've connected in series. Want to notice where exactly is the change affected? My simulation is running as you can see they are not as bright as before and the voltage has been divided. This one is taking half. This one taking half. It was 240 before and the current is now half. 5 amps is my current now. It's because I'm overloading the system. That's why the voltage is dropping. So that's why it's encouraged to connect your lights in parallel rather than in series. Because if you connect them in series, the illuminescence of the lights is going to drop because the voltage is going to be halved, as you can see from this simulation. So thank you for tuning in. This is Einstein, aka Open Source Gangster from Blitztech Electronics. Blitztech Electronics is a Zimbabwean owned startup which focuses on electronics. We design uh, electronic systems from inverters, radio systems, security systems. We also are working on our online shopping, shopping cart, which is going to come anytime soon, where we sell a variety of uh, your hobby kits, your Arduino kits, your Raspberry Pi kits, your LEDs, and uh, your, your resistors, your capacitors. You can get your hobby kits for your kids, for D DIY projects. This is going to come if you want to check us out go on www.blitztechelectronics.co.zw or blitztechelectronics.com blitz with a z b l i t z t e c h electronics.com thank you for your time goodbye